Good morning, <clears throat> good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the 5-Minute Facebook Ministry. My name is Anthony Daniels. Today we're coming out of the book of Psalms, the 31st chapter, the 21st verse, of Psalms 31 and 21. And it reads out of the NIV, Praise be to the Lord, for he showed me the wonders of his love when I was in a city under siege. Praise be to the Lord. For he showed me the wonders of his love when I was in a city under siege. Now, uh, <clears throat> the first thing this does is it says, praise be to the Lord. We've got to understand that we should always give praise to the Lord because of the many things that he's done for us. But also because of all that he's going to do for us. And we want to give him praise and constantly give God praise for the things that he's doing in our lives. Always remember who he is, our creator, where he is. He lives within us. And give him the praise that he deserves. And this verse says, for he showed me the wonders of his love. The wonders of his love. Now you have to imagine a perfect love. And the wonders of God's love. Love saves us from our own selves. You know, the, wonder, the biggest thing about God's love is that it is so powerful. That he, that, that, that he has allowed us, as sinful as we are, to still have the, the chance, the, the opportunity to spend eternity with him. And this says, when I was in a city under siege. See, God doesn't just show us wonders of love when things are going well. When he sees that we're going to church and we're reading his word and we're praying and we're worshiping and we're giving him praise and we're doing everything right. And, you know, we, we're walking the walk and we're talking the talk. And everybody, that's, that's not the only time he shows us the wonders of his love. This says, when I was in a city under siege. You know, that is, and, and that is someone who is, you know, going through difficult times, in a bad place, um, having problems, struggling. And you're struggling with your faith. And uh, a lot of us, you know, even myself, we struggle with uh, with prayers not being answered the way you want them to be answered, not being answered uh, in what we think is a timely fashion. And we struggle with those things. And and we find ourselves in a place where we're going, why, God, why? Or, uh, God, you know, why is this not going right? Or why am I in this situation? Why can't I do this? Why, why don't I have enough money to do this? You know, why can't I do that? You know, God, I'm not, I'm not being blessed. I'm in this place and I need a better job and all this kind of stuff. And see, but that is when God shows us his love. When we're in that bad place. See, when, when we are under siege, when we have things coming against us, when we have things not going right in our lives, that is when we see the real beauty of God's love. That he, he's right there with us. He is right there with us. He's, he's involved in that situation with us. He's already ordained are already created our victory in that situation. All we have to do is trust him, is realize that instead of questioning God and wondering what he's doing or how he's doing it, we just trust and believe that he's already taken care of it. And trust and believe that he's going to guide us through the things that we need to do to come out of our siege. When whatever is seizing us, be problems, it could be spouses, it could be children, it could be fathers and parents, uh, you know, your job, your social life, uh, it could be anything. You know, it could be anything. It could be some, some, something that you've been trying to stop doing that has got a hold on you that you, can't, that you can't just walk away from. You can't break free from it. And it just keeps coming back and it's haunting you. You know, that's when God shows one of we got to trust God. Just believe that, God, you know, I'm giving this to you. I cannot stop. I cannot do this. I cannot handle this on my own. And watch the wonder of God's love come into our life. And change that situation. And change that situation. And not just change it so that it's worse, but change it so that even, even in, you know, you could be in a place where the situation itself doesn't change, but where you are in that situation, how you are dealing with that situation, how you come out of that situation is what God does. Situation stays there, but, but he brings you through it. Or he gives you the means to handle it. He doesn't resolve it. He changes you so that you 
can deal with that situation so that you can resolve that situation. That's what we got to trust God to, to empower us. He empowers us as Christians to do the things that we need to do. But we have to trust him. We have to trust him and believe that he is going to handle us to handle a situation. Because God, God is with us. The Holy Spirit is inside of us. Jesus is inside of us. It says in John, you know, that, that, he, that, that God, if we, that if we love God, he'll make us his home. He'll make us his home. And he lives inside. We love God. We're his home. He's always with us, but when you start to love him, and you start to live and obey his teachings, he comes and make, makes you his home. He, he, you know, and, 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 and you know, one, we like to take care of our home. We like to keep it in order. And that's what God does with us. He keeps us in order. He keeps us straight. He keeps us marching on that road. Even when we, even when, uh, when we do things that aren't correct, when we do things that aren't right, uh, he's still there with us. He's keeping us. He's trying to clean us out, get rid of that junk, get rid of that trash. He's throwing the garbage out on a regular basis. Hmm. Hmm, that's good. And that's all the time that I have. Remember, God loves you. And that's a wonderful love. It's a wonderful love. God bless you. God loves you. And I love you too. Have a great day.